everybody. Welcome back to Rock Titan Live. I'm Scotty J. Got an awesome show for you coming up right here. Um, you know, I'm going to use a term. I don't use it all that often, but we have an icon. We have an icon with us. And, you know, when you talk about the Joan Jets of the world, when you talk about, you know, uh, the hearts of the world and Lita Fords of the world, this lady, this lady is right there. We got none other than Janet Gardner and her man Justin James with us. They have a brand new album coming out, Synergy, on August 7th. And you guys are quite the synergy. You really are. How are you guys? We're great. How are you? Good, good. Thank you very much. And for joining us all the way from Chicago, no less. Yes, indeed. Love it out there. Love it out there. But, uh, wow, you know, I mean... Janet, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not kidding around. We were talking about a mutual friend of ours in the music world not too long ago. And like I said, as soon as I said we were going to be talking, he was just like, oh, my God. And I'm not going to call him out by name. But when he sees this, and he will, he's going to be like, oh, man. Well, and we just saw this person you're talking about play. Yeah. In Connecticut, and had we known that we could have weaseled our way backstage and met him, we would have done that. Yeah, but absolutely. we didn't. We were just, you know, loving the show. You know, Justin, I would love to see you exchange, exchange you know, chops with him because, man, of synergy, you're shredding it up, dude. I could just oh. say it. You and Vinny going back and forth. Oh man, I can't. Oh. I can't even imagine. He would smoke me, but that would be a great honor to uh, to do that. Yeah, yeah. So synergy. This is a. Is this your second or third album together that you guys have worked on? Because I know the third. name changed. This is your third. Okay. Third. Yeah. So, so I guess my question to both you guys is, you know, when you guys did the last two, you know, and we're talking about your place in the sun. That was the most recent one you guys did, just only a year ago. So you guys are cranking out the music here. But um, so it was Janet Gardner. It was under the name Janet Gardner. But now. You know, you guys are, you know, sharing, sharing names here. You know, Gardner James. What led to the uh, name change for the release of uh, Synergy? Well, it was time, you know. Um, it has always been a, a total partnership. But when we originally talked about what do we call it, and we talked about different band names, and at that time we just decided, well, we'll, you know, we'll release this as my first solo album. Um and then, you know, as we kept going and going, it became, you know, more and more obvious that it should be called Gardner James. Right on. So we just took that plunge. And one of the things I like to joke about is the first two album covers, when it was just Janet Gardner featured both of our faces on it, we were present. And ironically, the first one where we go Gardner James, we've got two gorillas on the cover. <laughs> Because people always go, why is that guy on the cover? Why is he there? Why is he, you know, not getting that, you know, all the songs and the playing and everything was just the two of us. So that's how I was able to squeeze my way into the cover. So this time when it finally is both of our names, it's two gorillas. But they're us in our primal form. Exactly. You know. Yes. Yeah. It's fun. It's funny you talk about taking the plunge with the, with the, you know, with the band name, you know, a little bit ago, Janet, because of course you guys took the real plunge some years back. What's that like making music together as husband and wife? Well, we were really nervous about it to be perfectly honest, because it could have been a disaster. <laughs> you know, it could have, it could have led to divorce, but it, it turned out great. You know, it brought us even closer and it's just, I can't say enough great things about working with Justin. He's such a great, he's so inspiring and, I mean, the great thing about it is that we're able to do it without hurt feelings and without anybody being defensive and without, you know, if, if the idea is good and we're both inspired by it and it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, we move on. There's no, you know, like, but I really like that idea. Why don't you like it? There's really none of that. So, yeah, it was kind of a fluke the way the whole thing started, because like she said, we kind of stayed away from that area. I mean, both being musicians and we didn't want anything that was going to interfere or 
because when you're in a band, it's, you know, usually somebody always wants to stand out or somebody wants it their way and then it causes fighting. Right. So we just avoided it. And just one night I was just jamming and just played a riff and she came down and said, what is that? I, I like that. And we threw a song together, just not even planning anything. And before we knew it, in two months, we had almost a full album done. So we're like, well, we've got something. We've got to, we've got to do this. And it turned out to be something on Saturday nights. Instead of going to the movies, let's go in the studio and write and record because that was fun to us. It was great. We right. still enjoy it. And the way that it happened initially is the way it still happens. You know, he'll be playing or, uh, you know, I'll be doing something else. I'll be upstairs and... I'll go, what was that you just played? He's like, I don't know. No play something. No, not that one, the one before that. Yeah, that one, record that. And so it's just, it's so easy and so natural. We never have to force it, ever. There's always one of us coming up with something that the other person is inspired by. So it's beautiful. That is so cool. I love that. I, and I can tell you guys are happy. I can tell you guys are happy just looking at you right now. Happy wife, happy life. Huh, Justin? Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people find that nauseating. Do you feel like you might be vomiting soon? No. No, not at all. Not at all. My wife and I, we work as a team from time to time. She's a professional photographer. You know, so with my journalism, you know, things kind of work hand in hand at times. Although... I have feared for my life a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it is what it is. I, I'm not going to let him, no, we, we won't go any further with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, 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 so was it a little corny, a little cheesy coming out with the uh, album name Synergy then? or You know, you know because but you guys really do. I mean, when I, when I said it in the intro, you guys really do have a great synergy with one another. So was this album name just like, it just rolled off the tongue, it's just like, you know what? Yeah, that's what it is. Well, the meaning of it is that, you know, you take two things, you put them together, and the result is greater than the sum of its parts. Yes. And as corny and as cheesy as that is, yes. that's what we have. <laughs> because if I was doing it all by myself, it wouldn't be nearly as good. You know, if he was doing it himself, it would be a lot better without me. But regardless, she, she's we, been drinking we, already. If you, if you can't tell, we'd like to think that when we join together, it's better than than the sum of our parts. And you know, so it was it was a pretty natural name. Right on, right on. Now you guys are both phenomenal musicians, uh, Janet. I mean, your voice. I mean, really. I I don't know what you do you know, to keep yourself so in shape. Maybe we should get into that a little bit, but just your voice, the way, uh, you know, you've just remained so polished over the years, you know. And, of course, the years you had with Vixen are absolutely incredible. Um, what have you done to maintain yourself? Anything special? I don't know. You see me. What do I do? Well, I think she gets a lot of stretching from yelling at me and, the, <laughs> and, kind of and downtime. And Keeps the voice, you know, working and no, I just, you know, we, um, yeah, we've at this age, I'm not going to say how old, but ancient oh, age. Oh, you're still young. You're still young, but you started young. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I started, you know, first fixed an album came out when I was eight, you know, so you can do that math that, that works out pretty yeah, good. Yeah, right. Um, exactly. But no, I just, you know, we do, we have so much going on. We have three kids. There's like four kids in the house right now. One of them's always got friends. We're, it's, it's bedlam around here. Nah. So you just try to do the best you can to take care of yourself and get some exercise. I'll just say, you guys are on your own. I'm going to walk the dog and we go up for a couple hours and we have a, an elliptical in the garage. All right, all right. You know, we try to eat right. We're not always great, but so, we try. So, so you're trying to convince the audience here that, you know, you guys really aren't just rock stars. You're just ordinary folk, you know? You just, you got the same kind of schedule as everybody else. We do. Pretty much. We're yeah. up early getting the kids off to school and doing, we're ordinary we, we got all the same demands as everybody else. Yeah, doing, doing a gig, getting getting home at one in the morning to get one of the kids to school at seven in the morning. So it's uh, it's that pretty can, rough. That, going that out and party. 
yeah. till seven in the morning. It's getting up to take the kids. Well, no, and it's coming home after being out of town and cleaning up after their parties. Well, we're out of town. Well, we're not here. We're out working. Yeah. They're partying here at home. Well, well cool. one, one thing I can't help but notice seeing you guys on screen right now, Justin. I mean, both of you guys, but Justin, you have such amazing teeth, man. Like you've got to have an incredible dental hygienist. Who, who, Absolutely. Who, who takes care of you, man? Well, I don't want to say her name, but, you know, she definitely digs in deep. I, I sometimes <laughs> think that I, I might have used a wire hanger instead of a plastic hanger, and she takes out that object, and she just digs. See, that's where I get it all back at him. I get him in the <laughs> and that's where I get my revenge. Suddenly yeah. I have two cavities in my Teeth felt fine. It's like, oh, we gotta get the drill. We gotta, gotta rip that it. out. But no, seriously. So I'm, 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 I'm checking out a little bit of your background that I'm not familiar with, and I see that you actually went to school to be a dental hygienist. Is what the, the music career is just not enough for you? You know, what you just got sick of it. You got sick of the microphone, being on stage, making amazing music. You decide to go into people's nasty mouths. <laughs> well, I mean, in all seriousness, I know you're you're being funny, but. I, one of the best things I ever did for my relationship with music is to take the money out of it, to not have to make any decisions <laughs> based on what's going to make the most money. I like to be able to do, have the freedom to do what we feel like doing. And I know that, you know, my, me and my family and everybody's taken care of. I, I, you know, I can work more when I want. I can work less hours when I want to do more music or go to Australia or do whatever. It has a lot of flexibility and I don't, I don't have to make musical decisions based on money, on finances, and it feels great. Yeah, I can only imagine. Well, I mean, both of you guys know very well that the industry has changed so much. And I mean, especially when you talk about what we're dealing with right now. You know, during, you know, the social distancing and the quarantine due to the pandemic, there's no touring. You know, artists can't get out there and, and take their music on the road, which now in the 21st century, it's almost exclusively the only way to generate any revenue. Unlike the good old days in the 20th century, where you actually can generate some revenue off music sales. You know, if you're with a label or, you know, if you've just got some really good management, whatever the case may be, you're getting the right plays on the radio and all that good stuff. Now it's just like, I'll have friends and, and you guys can probably attest to this, you know, they'll whip out a check. They'll be like, yo, dude, check out this royalty I check i just got it's, it's like less less than 10 cents it costs yeah, more to <laughs> you know i mean seriously does does that happen to either one of you guys because you know obviously justin you too i mean you've you've been you've worked with so many different artists you've made a lot of music yourself i mean do you guys ever get royalty checks and you just look at it and you're like what the hell is this like why'd they even send it absolutely <laughs> Yeah, there's there's some of that, but I mean the good thing is now that you know all like, YouTube is monetized, almost everything now streaming. It takes a lot to get paid, but you do get paid, and if you sure. add it all up, like everybody who's watching you or listening to you anywhere, you get paid on. So, I mean, and we've been able to take to we've been able to take the occasional Taco Bell dinner run, you know, because That's right. of that. So. Yes. <laughs> oh, got well packed. Right on. Awesome. Right on. Right on. Well, back to Synergy. And everybody, again, we are here with the amazing Janet Gardner and Justin James, and they've got Synergy, brand new album, coming out August 7th. So make sure you go check that out. And uh, so... With your last album, literally, just having come out a year ago, you know, I mean, this is a real fast turnaround for your third studio album together. Um, and given the times that we're in right now, did you guys ever have a thought, like, have any pause? Like, you know, we did just put out an album a year ago. Maybe we should wait to wait, you know, to see what happens here. And maybe we'll put this out like six months from now and, and we'll still be, you know considered aggressive with uh, releasing new music? No, actually. Yeah, it was, 
it kind of almost got to the point where, I mean, this wasn't pl- as fast as it came. It was definitely not planned to happen like this. And uh, I mean, things are, again, were just coming together so fast that it almost got to the point where it was like, wow, we can almost do what bands were doing in the seventies where they were putting out an album every year or two albums sometime every year. And it, that mm-hmm. kind of became a motivator a little bit, just like, okay, we're on a roll. Let's see if we can get this out a year after that one where it's not like the syndrome where you're waiting four or five years for a band to put out a new album or longer in some cases. And, you know, kind of to go hand in hand with the whole royalty statement thing. I mean, if you do it for the money, you're, you're doing it's that's not the right reason. You got to do it because you love what you're doing and you love the music. And that's what we have. And we just we enjoy it so much that we can sit there for months at a time every day, writing, recording and just really enjoy it. Well, and, you know, when we, we looked at it and how quickly how quickly it came together, and so we, we really looked at every song and kind of went, well, you know, is there anything that we should, like, scrap? And, you know, we've got all the time in the world that maybe we shouldn't put out. Is there anything on here that's weak or that we don't feel great about? And we both kind of went, no, actually, this I think this is a good, solid album. So... So it's coming at you. 11 tracks. That's a solid <laughs> LP. And uh, I loved it. So everybody, everybody who's watching right now, you know, if you like this, of course, please go out to, you know, YouTube forward slash Rock Titan. Subscribe. But uh, beyond that, we always put out mu- music reviews for all the new music when we're talking with artists, you know, like with uh, Janet and Justin. So go out to rocktitan.tv. And you will be able to see the review that I'm putting out of Synergy. And, uh, you know. I'm scared, are you? uh, (laughs) You know what? I'm very honest. I'm very honest. If there's something that, you know, I I feel "Eh, there's just something lacking, you know, I'll say it. But I, I try to be eloquent about it, you know. I'm not just flat out rude. But, um, I gotta tell you, I mean, yeah, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. There's not a whole lot, you know, wrong to find with this. I'm, I was really blown away. No, seriously. I mean, it, it, it was metal. It was so metal. And, and, you know, Justin, your playing is fabulous. I mean, my God, I mean, I wish I could play like you and, uh, you know, Janet, I wish I could sing like you, you know, but, uh, I can't, I can't quite hit those notes anymore. You know, it's like puberty got the best of me. But, uh, but seriously, um, it's really incredible. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to publishing that, and I'll share it with you guys too. Um, but going back to one of the other things that you said, um, because I thought it was very interesting, you both have had success in the music industry, you know, far more than a lot of musicians have, you know, especially those that, you know, again, talking about the 21st century, those that have entered in that digital age where everything is just about streaming and, you know, anyone with a microphone, anyone with a camera, anyone with a phone is a rock star now, right? You know, everything is just so 24 seven digital, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you know, in terms of producing things for you guys. And you kind of touched on this a little bit, Justin, has there ever been a thought in your mind since you started working together you know and this being your third studio album have you had any i don't know if anxiety is the right word but like any hopes ambitions of having that level of success together that you guys have both experienced individually like is there the motivation for a financial success you know making music with this or are you truly just doing this for the pure love of it yeah no i definitely i mean i think it's always good to have goals and you know i mean nobody would complain about you know making money and getting paid to do what you love and uh yeah i would love nothing more than for a miracle to happen and something to pick this up and it just kind of takes off but at the same time, too, I'm satisfied that I, I get to work with my best friend and I get to, you know, make music with her and make music that I like. And that that's the most important part to me. But absolutely. I mean, I would we wouldn't, we wouldn't turn money away <laughs> if it was coming at us. We wouldn't, you know, 
but yeah. it's not something that you know is is a huge motivator for us at this point <laughs> it's it's more the enjoyment of doing it honestly right on Right on. Um, now, I know you guys got to get going and, you know, I could talk to you guys forever. I'm just watching the clock here. But um, how how are we planning on supporting Synergy? Obviously, it's a challenge right now. And a lot of artists, I was just speaking with some earlier today, as a matter of fact, they just got kind of caught up with the release date of this album. It's just kind of like, oh, do we do it? Do we not do it? Because, you know, we thought we were going to be on tour right now. You know, and obviously no one is, and we don't really know when we're going to be able to. So how do you guys plan to fully support the album now that it's going to be coming out, really, in just a couple of weeks? Well, we're going to be talking to you every week. Awesome. So people can tune in to, to get the latest dirt. Cool. Um, that works. We're going to try to make some more videos and stuff because obviously we can't play live. We like you said so we're just going to do what we can to you know get people interested right. yeah it, it's a double-edged sword because there was thought when we were doing this you know is this the wrong time to put it out because of everything that's going on and you can't support music or is it a great time where people can't go out and see shows so maybe they want to hear new music um so we just kind of went with our heart and just thought you know what yeah we've got it and you know if a year down the road, touring picks up full steam. Well, we'll put out another album, hopefully, and go out and just continue to make music and and just have fun with it. And uh, yeah, yeah, and that's a good point because you know people can't go see live music, but people are still going to want to be listening to music. So, so it's there for them. Right on. Now, what's the best way for all your fans to consume the music you guys have put out there right now? Are we talking about your, your website, YouTube channel, social media? You guys active in that area? Facebook and all that jazz? Is that the best way for everybody to get everything? Where, where should people go? Yeah, we we have a, a web, website. It's Janet Gardner Music. Music, yes. Janet Gardner Music. Music. Okay. I don't know. So that, you know, you can find whatever there and there's links to our videos and that kind of stuff. And yeah, we're on Facebook. You can look up either Janet Gardner or Justin James. We're both on Facebook and Instagram. And there's a Janet Gardner fan page. And then of course, you know, for the music, you know, Amazon carries the CD, iTunes. Um, Spotify, it's on Spotify. Okay, we doing pre-sales right now? We just sold out of the pre-sales. Um, yeah, we when we got the email yeah. from the record label, Pavement, and they told us it sold out, we were like, Whoa, all and, right. And lucky for us, I had everything all packed up and I went, we went to um, one of the FedEx places and they said, I didn't have a printed label. And they said, oh no, we can't do that here. And the office you need to go to is closed. So when we got home, we found out that we needed way more than what we had in the box. Wow. So we opened up the box, it started signing out. more stuff put it back in and then send it out the next day. And then it was sold out. We ran out. So yeah, until the release date, you know, you can watch the videos. Uh, the it. single is on uh, Spotify. Wounded is on Spotify. Right. And that's about it. Right. Oh man. So everybody, you're just going to have to wait another two weeks, <laughs> August 7th. Well, everybody, again, I am here with Janet Garner and Justin James. I am Scotty J. You are watching Rock Titan Live. Make sure you go out and subscribe to the Rock Titan TV YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see you all very soon. Be safe. Be healthy. We love you. We're out.